Hey guys, welcome to beginnerdjlessons.com. Hope you're all doing okay. Hope you're all hanging in there, you know, fighting through. This week I've got a video on how to beat match perfectly on a mobile phone. Now, most of you guys will know a couple of weeks ago I downloaded Algorithm DJ2 on my mobile. And I've been playing with this thing, you know, it's quite good fun. It's Sometimes I just think I'll do a quick beat match on it and you're just there for an hour or so, it's quite good fun. But it's not just that. I'm very aware that this is a channel for beginners and a lot of people watching this channel probably don't even have DJ decks yet. Well, I know they don't because they tell me they don't. Whereas I think this program's pretty good and I'm gonna give you some exercises today that if you master these, you'll be so much better at beat matching when it comes to DJing on real DJ decks. Today I'm going to teach you how to seamlessly blend one song to another on your mobile manually rather than letting the program do most of the work. And if you can master this, when you get DJ decks, you're going to be so much better. Okay? Cool. Let's do it. Okay guys, so this is a little exercise that's gonna help you get your head around perfect beat matching and blending of two different songs. Um, it's good fun just playing around with this app, so if you've already got DJ Dex, this app's just good fun to play around with. But if you don't have DJ Dex, then these techniques are things you can practice now, so when you do get DJ Dex, it will come a lot easier to you. The first thing I want to point out is I've already done a full video on how to DJ on your iPhone, where I teach you everything you need to know about this app. So if you want to watch that, click this little button up here here. So in this video I'm not going to be showing you what everything does on the video, I'm just going to be showing you what you need to do and what you need to practice. The first thing I wanted to show you is if you click this button here and click these, it will show you different levels. Now this lines up perfectly with the mixers on the DJ decks that look like this, okay? So these here basically align with these mixers on your DJ decks. Now that may be obvious, but I did want to just point that out because that's integral to mixing and what we're, gonna about to, what we're about to do. Okay guys, so first things first, I'm going to need you guys to get two tracks that are basically the same speed or very similar speed with very prominent drum beats. If you want to practice this with the exact tracks I'm using, they're both dead mouse tracks on this side and this side. This song here is Raise Your Weapons, this song here is not exactly. This one's 128, this one's 126. First thing I'm going to do is make sure those are identical by clicking this sync button here. So they're now both 128. Now the reason I've picked Dead Mouse is that a lot of his songs are just quite uh, repetitive in their nature. So for example, if you click this, you'll hear it's just... There's not a huge amount going on, it's just a drum beat and they're really good tracks to practice blending one into the other because this is just a solid a drum beat, this is just a solid drum beat. So this one over here sounds a bit like this. Perfect, okay. Even though Dead Mouse's songs are quite repetitive, um, I'm going to be putting loops on to do this, um, which is what I would recommend you doing as well and getting into the habit of doing, because it means you're not racing to do what I'm going to teach you to do in the time before the song runs out. You know it's just going to loop. So I'm going to loop the beginning of this track into the end of this track. So first things first, I'm just going to get to the end of this track by pressing my finger there and getting to the end. And I want to see the wavelength. So I click this button here, okay? Now I'm going to go to the beginning of the bar, which is here. You'll always see a yellow line and I'm going to put a cue point there. So I know when I click this and then the next thing I'm going to do is put a loop on. So I click this button here, click loop, click loop there and I know that it's going to loop. So watch up here, you'll see when it gets to the end of the loop it'll play again. And the end of the loop is there. See it? And it started again. So I know that that's not going anywhere. It's just going to loop and loop and we've got as much time as we need. Now I'm going to come over to the intro of this song. And, and now actually I was just listening to this song a moment ago and the beginning of the track is a bit too boring for me. So I'm just going to go forward a bit. Oh God, there we are. 
bit meatier that, so we're going to use this bit here, okay? So scroll to the beginning of a bar. Now a bar is always shown with a yellow line rather than a white line. Line it up, Q point on. And you don't need to loop these, especially dead mouse songs where you're going to have like, you know, loads of bars of just a solid beat. But with other tracks that maybe you won't have such a long intro and outro, you may need to put loops on. So for this demonstration, I'm going to put a loop on. Click here, click loops, loop, done. Let's go back. And here's the loop. Perfect. So we now bought ourselves lots of time, okay? If you're actually doing a DJ set, you can put a loop on when you see it coming to the end of the song. So you can do this easily while DJing, okay? So we've got two loops on. Now, I'm going to have this song playing constantly, and this song I'm going to bring in. So this is going to be playing, I'm going to beat match this track here, and then I'm going to blend it, not using this thing here, but using the official levels, okay? So if we go to the levels there and there, we've got our levels. Now, something I love to do with beat matching is bring the bass of this track, or the kick drum of this track, underneath this track here. So the first thing I'm going to do with this track is take away the highs and mids and just leave the lows. So I've got more of the bass playing, okay? So listen, this is with the highs and mids. Take away the highs. Take away the mids. Boost the lows a bit. And you can hear what you're basically left with is just the thump, 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 thump. Thump, 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 like that, which is what you want, okay? Then I'm going to bring the volume down till it's quite quiet, okay? So we've lined this track up here, ready to go. And what I'm going to do is have this track playing, beat match, then I'm going to bring up the gain of this track here, okay? So I'm just going to bring up the volume of this track here until I can hear the thump of this track underneath this track. Then once I can begin to hear this track, I'm going to take away the lows of this track. So what you've got is the kick drum of this track playing underneath this song. So you've got the foundation of this song, the thump, 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 playing underneath this song. So the body of this song is already there. Then I'm going to begin to bring in some of the highs, some of the mids, and as soon as I hear the highs, which will usually be at that second line there, as soon as I hear them, I begin to take them away here. And as soon as I've done a bit of the highs, I'll then bring up the mids until I can hear the mids. And then that'll usually be about here. And I begin to take away some of the mids. Okay. Continue to boost this song. Okay. Until these are pretty much all the way up. And then I'm going to bring the volume down of this track, but I'm not just going to bring the volume down. I'm actually going to high pass it and take it away. So there's literally nothing. So to kind of give you a quick idea, just double tap them all to reset them. If I double tap this, double tap this, 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 I'm going to be taking away this track so you can't hear anything. So listen, okay. Take away the lows. I'll take away the highs, the mids. But you can still hear a little bit of it. So I bring the gain down and I'll high pass it, which the high pass will kind of take away. So you can't hear anything left of this song. And the only song playing is this song here. I hope I've explained that right. And I'm now going to give you an example, OK? OK, so first things first, let's beat match with these volumes or turn all the way down and just the lows left, OK? Make sure they're perfectly lined up. So I know now that they're beat matched perfectly. I'm going to bring the volume down a little bit. Now I'm going to go back to our mixing screen. So I know those two are beat matched. Bring up the gain and as soon as I hear the, the bass drum, I'm going to take away the bass drum from this track. Now I've got the kick drum of this song playing under the so this song over here. Now let's do some blending. Bring the volume up a bit. Here we go. 
highs up till I can hear the highs. Bring out the mids. Take away the mids from this song. Bring up the highs a bit more. Bring up the mids a bit more. Take the mids away. And bring the volume down and bring the low pass down. Take the loop off. And what you've done there is you've blended one song beautifully into the next song. Now in this next example, I'm gonna do a hell of a lot less speaking and I'm just gonna show you it, okay? So just listen to what I'm doing. You'll hear I bring in the highs, take a bit of the highs away, bring in the mids, take away some of the mids. It, it really is mixing. It's like cooking in a way, guys. You just gotta use your ears and when you feel like you've brought in too much of one, you may need to take away some of the other because you don't want them clashing and you just blend and blend and blend. It's good fun, this is a good little exercise for you if you are new to DJing, okay? So, I'm gonna start by taking away the highs, the, mid, uh, the highs and the mids, and bring the gain down, okay? I'm gonna go back and set a new loop point. So, let's go back here. Loop, put the loop back on. Okay, so a lot less speaking in this one, guys. I'm just going to demonstrate it for you this time. Just listen to the song, okay? And that's done without using this fader down there. Guys, I hope I explained that to you well. It's a really fun little exercise, this, because it's kind of like a video game, you know? And once you get into it, it's just good fun. And all I'm using is the faders and the loop. And once you get to the end of this song, you can then put a loop on. So if it was playing, you can just go to loop, put a loop on like that so you've got a loop and do the same thing back over on this track and just practice going back and forth and when you feel comfortable going back and forth between these tracks you can then go back load in a different song and practice going back and forth and it'll really get it's kind of like a game because you have to do this under a time constraint as well so that's something else you could practice try not putting a loop on and just use the natural ending or the outro of this song and the natural intro of this song and see if you can do it before the body of the song actually comes in because that's what the intro and the outro of these songs are actually for the long beat that you hear at the end and the beginning are for DJs to loop for DJs to link one song to the next but I always like to just give myself more time by just looping it so then I just know I'm looping it on my terms, I'm not going to run out of track or the second track isn't going to get into the main part of the song and I haven't beat matched properly. Um, so there we go guys, quite a quick tutorial for this week but a really fun little thing to practice and it's just a fun thing, even if you're good at DJing, this is just a fun thing for you to do on your phone if you're bored or if you've just got a, you know, a bit of time on your hands, it's just fun. Now guys, I'm just going to wrap up by saying, if you guys enjoy this video, I've got a full course at beginnerdjlessons.com where I will teach you everything you need to know about DJing, not from knowing any of this stuff up to doing your first beat match, everything you'd need to know for your first DJ gig. Come and check out beginnerdjlessons.com. And guys, if this video has been helpful for you, make sure you leave a comment, leave a like, because that helps me get more views. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel right here for more weekly videos. Thanks for watching, guys. That's a thumbs up, by the way. Bye.